going on? So this review today is going to be about Man in the Music, The Creed of Life and Work of Michael Jackson by Joseph Vogel. What a book. I got this book a couple weeks ago. And it's just a great overall view and cipher of what made Michael Jackson such a creative genius and well, who I call the music king. You explore <clears throat> his, pardon me, his days from Motown, his days uh, working with the Jacksons when he first got to CBS, which became uh, Epic CBS. Then on was working with Quincy Jones and then on when he post Quincy Jones with Teddy Riley, Brian Loran, R. Kelly, um, his long-term relationship with record engineer Bruce Wudang, um, working with Dallas Austin, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, Renee Moore, um, Babyface, Carol Bear Sager, um, his, uh, the, the different people who had a different, um, <clears throat> picture of his creativity, um, you know, um, um, just so many vast takes. John Barnes, commentary, Bill Botro, the people that were associated, uh, recordings, how he approached it, how he approached the music. Um, um, you know, when you read this book, you get such an overview of his creative process, how he picked up on, um, you know, how he was listening, um, you know, how he... He brought it together, uh, the creative highs and times of him and his projects, working with Lionel Richie, you know, different takes on that, um, you know, uh, you know, when you just, you absorb so much of his, um, his work and how, what he looked into songs and the collaborations and, um, you know, uh, you know, you also... His co-executive John McClain, who was a lifelong friend and how close his co-runs the state, uh, with John Branica, the, but you talk about the creative process, all the people involved and how they all came to formulate and how he worked on different projects, you know, songs that he wrote for Sister Reby, like Centipede, how it came to be, and Nighttime Lover with Latoya Jackson, you know, like how the groove was. Originally, that song was written for Donna Summers. So you get all those tidbits, <clears throat> you get all the fleshed out takes of how he, you know, his beatboxing skills, how he figured rhythms in his head, the strings, the, how he came up. Because basically, like when you're talking about We Are The World, he basically created that in the night. You know, he had a certain time to do that. So he understood harmony and parts. He could really do that. And how he, you know, his book, of course, explores how he followed Quincy Jones about including Billie Jean and, you know, how they took out the verse, the second verse from The Lady In My Life and the integral parts and how, you know, how he, he heard things, you know, like when you hear a song like Morphine, how he had that string assembly, you know, or how, um, you know, he, he, he worked up that chorus on history, you know, and how he built on bridges and his gospel songs, you know, when you hear Will You Be There. One of the most trip out things about when I, you know, read Michael Jackson over the years was like from Man in the Mirror, <clears throat> how one part in the song had upset him so that he had to leave the studio because of the way it was sung in the key. And he was such an intention detail. You know, when people who have underestimated his musicality just don't have a clue that this guy really knew details and how he came up with concepts and how he heard the music. You know, like when you watch This Is It, for instance, just the way he goes over the music director with uh, the way you make me feel with that dragon, that seductive, da dun da dun da dun da dun da what the keyboard's like lagging behind the beat, but yet it works in sync. And then you had like the blues intro and the jazzy chord progression. You know, it was just the things like that. That, and ironically reading the book, that was like a collaborative effort between him and his mother, Catherine Jackson. So respect Mother Monarch and Matriarch there. That was something else. But the details, the way he was attention span, the way he would do a lead vocal, the background vocal, the harmonies. You know, this, this is um, this is what I call a geek's book to Michael Jackson. But it's all that matters, really, because it's about the great creativity that made him a musical genius and legendary and profound. But you understand how he listened to the rhythms and the cadences and the tones, and you get um, different people giving perspectives. Um, you know, all the way up to the Invincible Project when Butterflies and um, there was a great quote in there where the great 
writer Stephen Ivory talking about like when Flow Tree composed a song that's hoping they would take it back to Michael Jackson's I Can't Help It face. Because you heard him, his music, his voice, his harmony, his style had no limits. You know, you're talking about an artist that could take on anybody's sound. It's a rare gift when I can just play your music um, and hear your music. And you could put anything with it. And that's what Michael Jackson's uh, uh, musicality and his range and his versatility and his feel did for you. I mean, it was, uh, he's lightning in the bottle. He really, from the time with the Jackson 5, when you're doing covers, like when you hear the stories about I Who's Loving You or I Want You Back, knowing that uh, the great Wilton Felter from the Crusaders played bass on that track, you know. And then you just go on through the years with different people, the different songs, and the harmonies and the blues and the, he had all his music was just like universal appeal and his voice was an instrument that was timeless with that when he was a child he sounded like a 40 year old man who'd been through the blues 40 50 year old man who had the blues and he had such strong timber and vibrato that he could take on that that ache that pain and so that's was one of the main reasons that when you read a book like this it explores all those songs his concepts how he wanted to add parts ad libs how he created, what he was looking for, the direction, the styles, the many nuances that was going on in his head and how he was always looking for the instrumental breaks, how he embraced with hip hop, how he was actually beatbox. He was doing all that. And he was like scatting and doing all that. I mean, he's one of the most versatile artists when you look at that. But then when you got that pop blanket, you know, everybody was just like, you know, um, you know, talking about it one of them is, but there was many layers to his musicality and his talent. So I wanted to give a shout out to Man in the Music, the creative life and work of Michael Jackson by Joseph Vogel, who did a fantastic job. Um, a lot of great commentary in here, a lot of depth and a lot of great feedback. And more importantly, it's about the music and remember the, the life and times of the great Michael Jackson and what his music did and meant for so many people and will always continue to mean and do so. Check out this book. It should be at your local Barnes & Noble. Check it out on Amazon, wherever you want to go get your books. Check this out. This is definitely a book worth reading and having if you're a big fan of Michael Jackson as such. Feel free to give me your thoughts, your likes, your comments. I look forward to feedback on this. Hit the like and subscribe. And when the bell rings a new video, keep on Michael and keep on remembering the greatness, the magic, the depth, the range, the soul. That's the bottom line because that's what it was about. And Michael Jackson truly touched the world. And hit you with so much soul and his vision, his concept. So let's keep it going about the music. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it focused. Keep it fresh. Enjoy. Read. Have a great day. Peace.